Donald Trump has finally begun to face the consequences of attacks on the judicial process and key figures that some experts bet another criminal defendant would not tolerate. He was even fined again Wednesday in a civil lawsuit in New York. But he also welcomed a pending ruling on the speech ban, issuing one of his most direct attacks on potential witnesses against him and one of his most direct challenges to judges who dared to restrain him. ABC News reported Tuesday night that special counsel Jack Smith granted immunity to former Trump. White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows who gave key testimony in Trump's federal election interference trial. Meadows' attorney objected to the report. Trump responded by issuing a broadside not only against the potentially cooperating Meadows, but also against allies who have cut deals recent days in the other election interference case. Fulton County. Gaw. Truth Social's Trump said he doubted Meadows would say the things ABC reported him. But. Trump added, when you really think about it, after being followed like a dog for three years, you're told you're going to spend the rest of your life in prison. If say anything bad things about that dreaded monster Donald J. Trump, you're spend the rest of your life. Keep his fortune and maybe if you can make up some really scary things about him we fix it a statue. In the middle of our decaying and now very violent capital city Washington. D.C. Some people make that deal but they are weak and cowardly in the leader of our failed nation. It is very bad for the future. Comments appear to transparently violate the limited speech ban that U.S. District Judge Tanya S. Chutkin issued in Trump's federal case but was later suspended while legal team appealed the decision. The critical question is whether the comments violate Trump's pretrial release conditions. Trump signed form in August acknowledging that it would be a crime to intimidate or attempt to intimidate witness, victim, juror, informant, or court official. The suspended speech ban prevented Trump from addressing the roles of potential witnesses in the case. In his post Tuesday, Trump again called Smith unbalanced, even though Chutkin made clear that this attack was beyond his limits. It is clear that Trump intends to test what Chutkin will allow. After all, his new post goes beyond many, if not all, of his past comments regarding potential witnesses where the new interpretations differ from these. Is how directly and potentially widely felt they are. Here, Trump directly responds to a report that a key witness testified in ways that could be damaging to Trump. He did with Pence. But in this case Trump's legal team brought up the fact that Trump was campaigning against Pence for the presidency. Chutkin acknowledged that complicates matters. On October 24, former Trump campaign attorney Jenna Ellis pleaded guilty to unlawful conspiracy to overturn the former president's 2020 election defeat in Georgia.